Hello everyone, this is Yolanda and today's project we're going to put these make our little bobby pins with the little crystals and you when you wear it in your hair all you see is the crystals. It comes out really cute. These are actual um, check glass um, that I bought. I used on these, I used the clear lock. It's like a plastic thread um, and it's invisible. It's almost like really thin fishing wire. You could kind of see it there on my hand. I did film it like this, but you couldn't see what I was doing because the uh, filament is so, well, invisible, <laughs> like the name says. So to just to demonstrate, I'm going to be using a color thread. Um, you could use a color thread if you don't mind the thread showing. If you want it to be just only um, the beads showing on top, then you would just use the, the clear lock or you could use a white um, thread. What you're going to need then is your a needle that fits through the hole, the opening of the beads. You're going to pull out about maybe 12 inches. You're going to thread it there. You can also do these on these little clippy, clip-on type of um, uh, hair clips, but make sure you put it on the top part, not the bottom. And you can also use the little um, barrette beads. So for here, what I'm going to do is I just got some of these hair pins. I guess you call them bobby pins. It's just the con air. I got them at I think right aid. So here, um, you know, sometimes you have hair that you need to kind of slip in, but you, you're wearing something nice and you don't want to have the bobby pin showing. So this one, you can have a dressy hair pin. These, they sell them and they're kind of expensive. So to begin, I have here, as you can see, an assortment of beads. You just get whatever bead you want, whatever you want to use. And you could even put beads in between. You could space them, whatever you want to use. You just use whatever, you could lay it out, your pattern and um, just use whatever you have available or whatever you like you could go purchase them if you're in San Diego if you're lucky enough to be in San Diego I went to Southland um, here uh, and they are on Arrow Drive and they have a really nice assortment of beads there it's really neat and the people there are really friendly so what you're gonna do to begin let's move back to our project here let me see if I could get it closer so you're going to get your needle and you're going to thread it. Make your knot, okay? You're going to get your bobby pin or your barrette or hair clip, whichever, whatever you're using. Make sure if you're using the bobby pin, we're going to put our beads on the smooth side, not the ridge part. This is the part that goes in your hair. So what you do first is that you just put in your needle through here. And since we already made a knot, I'm, this is why I'm using the color thread. The other time you couldn't see what I was doing. I'm going to go there. Okay, and you could do it, you could add it again and put another knot to secure the end of your thread. Once you do that, you're going to choose whichever beads you want to add. On this one, I put different size beads, but if you want to just put all of your crystals or your crystals divided with your other spacers, it's up to you. Once you have it here, I'm going to get my glass bead and then I'm going to put it on oops here the top portion of the bobby pin see how the other part is bumpy I'm going to do it here once I do it there usually I have someone helping me holding the bobby pin it might be a little bit easier I position my bead there and now I'm just going to wrap my yarn my thread around the top of the bobby pin a few times there make sure I get it at the right tightness once I have it tight there I'm going to put in my needle through here and then I'm going to wrap it and pull it tight. So I've just tightened, I've just tied my bead onto the bobby pin. And then what I like to do to make sure it's not going to come out, I go back in, go to the edge again, okay, and I'm going to make another knot there. Now it's secure because I don't want it to come out. That's why I use the invisible thread so you can't see any of the thread. Once I've tied it there, it's all about reinforcing your bead. I'm gonna go back in here and now I can get my next bead, whatever bead you're gonna use. If you were using like this separating bead, you would put your next bead here. And this is what's great. You can make all kinds of designs with the beads you have. For this one, I think I'm just gonna put all the crystal beads and I love wearing these um, like when you're going out somewhere and you want it to look pretty or you can make these for your little girls it, you know they're going to look so nice and remember when you wear it all you're going to see 
see here all you're gonna see is the top of the beads that's why the thread is actually showing it gives it a bl blue hue and when you use your invisible um, thread it doesn't show it just shows the bead so here's my next bead I'm gonna hold it there since I don't have a helper I'm gonna do the same thing I did there you're gonna bring your thread there to the middle and tighten it down I hope you guys can see the camera doesn't seem to want to focus when I'm this close I don't know why okay so there I've tightened my next one down get it in position it helps when you have someone else to help you and now I'm going to go into the bottom here once again and I'm going to do one knot do it again and do my second knot because I always like to make sure it's not going to come out okay here sorry about that guys bring it in to the bottom and now I can do my knot my second knot I don't want it to come out okay once I have that knot there my beads not gonna fall off but now I want to tighten my bead so I'm gonna go back through here and then go wrap between my other beads you can see the thread there but that's why I like to use the um, invisible thread Okay, I'm going to bring it one more time. Now I'm going to go back out again and continue sewing on my beads. See, and they get pretty tight. If you want to use a um, jewelry or beading thread, you could do that. I'm going to finish putting the beads on here. I think it might, you could put it as far up front as you want. I think I'm going to do four beads, maybe three. And then I'll come back and show you, see, it's kind of, why aren't you wanting to focus? There's my third one. Okay, great, now it focuses. <laughs> Maybe now you could see. Sorry guys, I think my camera just shut off on me. So here I'm gonna do my last bead, wrap it around. Oh, I don't know, it might be a little too big for it to fit. Oh, let me see. Ooh, it might be a little I think that's a little bit too much I'm gonna just have to stick with the three beads for this let me take this off and then since I have some yarn left um, not yarn thread if you want you can go back and reinforce all your work totally up to you wrap it around oh I don't know it might be a little too big for it to fit oh let me see Ooh, it might be a little I think that's a little bit too much I'm gonna just have to stick with the three beads for this let me take this off sorry guys I think my camera just shut off on me so here I'm gonna do my last bead wrap it around oh I don't know it might be a little too big for it to fit oh let me see Ooh, it might be a little I think that's a little bit too much I'm gonna just have to stick with the three beads for this let me take this off and then since I have some yarn left, um, not yarn, thread, if you want, you can go back and reinforce all your work. Totally up to you. Just make sure you open that so they could go there. And you can see my thread there. It, that's why I like to use that um, invisible, the Invisalock. And you can find those like at um, any sewing store. I know Joanne sells it. I don't know how much it is because the one I have is for a serger, because when I use my serger, a lot of times I want to do the invisible, but it's just called clear lock. And um, so I don't know how much that, you know what, I don't even remember how much it costs. So I'm gonna go back and just finish, um, let me move my camera here. I'm gonna go back and finish reinforcing all my beads, because I don't want them to fall off. And then I can just cut off my yarn when I finish doing my last knot. See how I go through there? You can open the pin. Usually I have somebody holding the little bobby pin open. And that was my last knot. I'm gonna trim my thread. And now when you wear it. And this is what it would look like on your hair. Of course, this one has the clear thread so you don't see the blue. And then this one has the blue thread that I used. So I think Manny looks great with that. I love having little sparkle in your hair. So there you have it. Thanks.